at this point my hair is completely dry like completely dry i did not want it this dry i wanted to do it when it was a little damp but i had so much work that i had to get through that i just left it to air dry so we are going to start this is such an easy style to do it's just a little time consuming and sleeping in the style can be a little bit annoying i'm going to start off by separating my hair into two sections i'm going to take some water and mist my locks I'm going to be using the main choice mousse. I've had this mousse for quite a while. I'm pretty sure I probably should throw this in the garbage. This time around, I'm going to try to do my Bantu knots just a little bit smaller, only because the ones I had in the back were a little big and the curls did not last. So I'm going to do this a little bit smaller, but you can still achieve this style with bigger Bantu knots. I'm gonna take this small section here my hair is already damp and I'm going to do one pump of mousse <laughs> and just run that about halfway down the lock. Right? So I want to work that product in and then I'm going to start by rolling in a, I guess this is a counterclockwise motion until the lock starts to do something like this, right? And then I'm just gonna keep on wrapping it around itself. Just wrap. Okay. You can secure it with a rubber band if you need, but for this one, it doesn't seem like I need one. So let's take another section. This one's a little bigger, but still small. One pump of mousse. We're gonna work that product in and then start to twist and roll. And then just going to wrap it around itself. My biggest tip for this style is to remember that you have to sleep in these. Um, if you do it too tight, it will cause a lot of tension and a lot of unnecessary tension at that. So try to keep it as loose as possible. I don't do Bantu knots very often because I don't want all this tension on my scalp. So I really only do this when I really feel like it. It's like eight in the morning. I probably won't be pulling this out until tomorrow around 11 so it should give it enough time to dry but obviously the longer you leave the style in the tighter the curls we have about 30 bantu knots in my head and we are going to let this dry overnight and pull it out in the morning so tomorrow we will take it down and i will show you what it looks like bye good morning i unfortunately did not have the best night's sleep, I just don't do well sleeping in Bantu knots, so I'm ready for them to go. <laughs> but let's take them down. This is just from one day, 
so needless to say you can imagine what the curls would look like if they stayed in a little bit longer separate gently by running your hand through the curls because you want to keep the curl but you want them to be a little bit fuller Before, after, we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. 